Ladies and gentlemen, Steve of the Yo. Four Walls! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? My gosh, it's a pleasure to be here. Dude, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us. If you could please uh, properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote Absolutely. anything you'd like. Hi, I'm Steve. I sing and play guitar for a band called These Four Walls from Australia, uh, from Queensland specifically. So we're split kind of all over the big state of Queensland. I'm on a place called the Gold Coast. Uh, which is lovely. It's it's hot. It's uh, like said before, full of spiders. Um, but you know, you you learn to live with them. Um, plugging, man. Look, we released an album mid pandemic, uh, and so we're still waiting to tour it. That'd be nice. Um, but uh, yeah, like we we have an album uh, called This Is Not a Future out on Spotify now, along with two other albums. We have a new single in the can in final mix at the moment, um, which should be dropping hopefully within the next like month or so. I would say. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for the right time on that one. Um, but while I'm plugging stuff, can I just say a massive thanks to you and your team for what you do for independent music? You guys play and plug just like stuff that just never gets heard, you know? And it's it's fucking awesome. It's like it's so freaking rad, man. It's just like we're so I'm honored to be here today, dude. It's it's like when I got asked, I was like, hell yes, let's do it. That's awesome. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, I think Fire Away was the first track that I ever heard of yours. I do want to play White Lies too and, and discuss, you, cool. you mentioned uh, the quarantine and you guys dropped the, the video or the album during the pandemic. So I want to play that one in a minute. Yeah. But uh, can we sure. can we talk about Fire Away? Go into like hmm. the lyrical content and what the song actually means yeah. to you. Yeah, so uh, lyrically, um, this was actually the first song that we wrote for a completely abandoned concept album uh, about like we're all in a in a we're all a bunch of nerds in our band right and our guitarist is like the biggest Final Fantasy VII nut ever and um, so like it was just basically this whole concept album about uh, a media coming to earth and just taking everyone out and just the realization of it's the end of days how would you as a person react we quickly realized. Um, we're not smart enough to do a concept album. <laughs> so this is the only thing that, that exists from it. Um, so yeah, so Far Away, it was just too cool a song not to keep, you know, even though lyrically, you know, much like anything with all of our songs, lyrically it's about falling down and getting back up, right? That's just the whole concept. And and really it's just about pushing through negativity and pushing through boundaries. And this particular boundary is the end of days. So yeah, that's that's the lyrical content of this one. How did you How did you meet everybody in the band? Mm. So we're originally from New Zealand. Uh, so we we kicked off in New Zealand like in the what late 2000s, right? So like you know peak end of new metal, and but we're all still new metal kids, you know. And and so just tried to do our own sound. Um, but yeah, I I moved up from a really small town in New Zealand to join this band in Auckland. Um, and then when we moved to Australia, we got our bass player over here. So we, it's a new bass player, although he's been with us for years and years. So he is our bass player, but, um, yeah, it was just kind of back in the days when you could meet musicians on forums and stuff. That's kind of how the band all got together. The chat is asking me to ask you what video games you play. I play all sorts of video games. So I actually, I actually stream on Twitch most nights as well. So plug it, plug it. What's your link? What's your link? Plug it. Blue Sin, B L U S Y N N. Uh, chat, if I can see some good vibes, if you got them, chuck them in. Um, but, uh, but anyway, um, uh, video games, I love single. Oh man, I fucking love Nintendo, dude. I can't say anything bad about that. Anything Mario, anything Zelda, I'll go. Um, but single player story, man. New Horizons coming out on Friday. I can't wait. Um, but yeah. Mario's, I, I, Mario 64 good. is probably one of my favorite games ever made. Wow. Dude, I love it. We've got this. I've got this bet going on my stream that like we we've got this competition going, and if if I lose the competition, I have to get a tattoo of a video game character at the end of the year, and um, it's gonna be great because I hope it's gonna be Mario. I hope, and not Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Fire away, dude. Who does your uh, who does your audio production? Who does all your recordings? So yeah, so uh, local, uh, Gold Coast, uh, we actually have uh, a producer by the name of uh, Luke Palmer who plays guitar and does production for a band called Dead Litter Circus um, here in Australia, which you might know because they're some of the big boys here. Um, but yeah, he's just got a real freaking ear uh, for 
we're a guitar band, dude. Like we we like big choruses and and big open just everything. And uh, yeah, he he gets it. So um yeah, we we really enjoy using him. Uh, and also a mix engineer by the name of Matt Bartlam, who has done a lot of stuff here in Australia. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of our team, and we we dig it. Hell yeah, Josh. Uh, do you have any questions for Steve? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, but that video would fit well with that movie I was just talking about earlier. I just uh, seen that. Don't look up. Oh yeah. I'm like totally. That's all I was thinking about for that. That'd be a cool freaking song for that movie. Yeah, like I mean, that there's a couple of tracks. You know, we we just we like um, goosebumps moments, man. Like we like those like big you know rises and falls and dynamics yeah. and stuff. So like you know, we if if we finish just writing a song and it sounds like it fits in a movie, we're happy to release it. It's like yeah, right. that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Is there is there a particular place in the world that you envision like this? This is the one place you have to play a show someday. Man, we we anywhere at the moment, uh, even our backyard at the moment. Like we've been, we we've played like two shows in the last two years because it's just impossible to play here. All the states have such different restrictions. You know, we can't travel and and play and and all that kind of stuff. We have our first show in like ugh, I can't even remember how long properly um like a festival show at the end of this month so we're super stoked for that. But we'd love to get to America. We have a very American sound. I feel like um it's just like it's kind of what we are influenced by all of our musical heroes are all based in the United States. Um, but we'd love to get to Europe, love to get to Europe. That'd be cool too. Uh, Cause they've just got such a wicked scene and such a wicked tour circuit. Um, man, anywhere. Dude. When you, we'll, when you say, when you say musical heroes in America, who are some yep. of your musical heroes? So we, the cool thing about our band is that we split so widely. So um, my g drummer is super into like 90s grunge. So like, you know, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, like that, the Pearl Jam side of stuff. Like he's just Matt Cameron drummer, right? It's just solid. Um, bass player is super into pop punk and punk, um, but a bit of everything. Our guitarist is like really mixed between like hard metal and like alter bridge kind of stuff. And then I sit like... I just listen to Seven Dust and Under Oath. That's kind of just what I listen to, you know. So it just there's me, you know. So I've seen both of them live many times. I've actually uh, prayed with uh, Chris, the keyboardist of Under Oath. Oh wow! Uh, Under Oath? Which is a wild story for another time. But uh, before I play White Lies, I want to tell everyone that's following or watching right now. If you guys haven't already, please hit the follow button. All the new followers get added to this wheel at the end of the, at the end of the show. We spin this wheel, and someone will win a prize. So it's, it's a good uh, incentive. So to, uh, so this video was live, so we tracked this live. So this isn't the actual single version of the song. We 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 did the whole um, we did the whole quarantine thing, you know, like we were all over the place and we didn't have a practice for like a year. Um, but uh, yeah, so we we decided to do it. So we we tracked all of this live and uh, and mixed it ourselves, and it was it was fun. It was a cool experiment. I think I almost prefer this version actually. Uh, cool. I don't know why. I just I just think it's cool. It's just cool. It's a cool version. I think I think this is my absolute favorite in your whole catalog. But dude, see if who we, who yeah, made we you like, like if you were to only pick three, who were the three vocalists of any genre that made you want to start singing? Yeah, okay. So I mean, one particular made me actually really start singing, which was Aaron Lewis from Stained. Um, because I didn't want to be a singer, I was just a guitarist. And then um i accidentally so like i'm old enough that we well from a small enough town that we had to order our cds in because we didn't have a, a like a, like we had to order them from a mail catalog and i accidentally ordered their first ep as opposed to break the cycle the album and i was so inspired by just like the guttural vocals that he had and just but also the cleans so i gave it a go and then i came across aaron gillespie from under oath and that kind of just inspired me even more um but miles kennedy from alter bridge and and slashes current project dude he's just he's the goat it's ridiculous that guy just can sing it's awesome. so you so you went through like a, a phase of trying to be a screamer at one time and just uh and yeah yeah like i mean we have screams on the album um but they're very like i have a lot of trouble doing it live and in the moment because i stress real bad because i'm all about my high clean notes and big like long notes and i'm not good enough a screamer to actually <laughs> do it properly live you know without really tearing myself up um, but, uh, my, our bass player is pretty good at it. So he does it all live. Cool. Are, are you down to, uh, review some artists with us and, or do Dude, some, do would, some trivia? I would love to my man. And the reason for that is my wife wants to go for a walk to a waterfall and I don't like exercise. So you can, you got me as long as you want. <laughs> 
heard. Excellent. This is uh, most of these we've never heard before. It could be any genre. Uh, there's the gifted sub going out from Tiki Tips really quick. I don't know if you saw during uh, during uh, Fire Away, I ate a ghost pepper coffee cake because it landed on, on the torture wheel. It landed on a ghost pepper coffee cake. Okay, cool. Steve, Steve and Josh, I need your guys' worst gig story ever this show completely failed and went all everything went wrong you couldn't hear yourself <laughs> somebody was not tuned correctly josh maybe the dj played the wrong track i don't know Whoever... uh yeah this might be a little worse than that <laughs> um so um it's after my set uh somebody else was playing and we're all just chilling uh it was some girl's like birthday bash or whatever like that was like the gig it was like and stuff um and it looked like people were like wrestling or something and i thought like it was just like the girls having fun or something um but then people start crowding over and stuff and we look over and like this girl is like having a seizure so uh -oh. like so like like they stopped the show and everything and like try to figure out what's going on and like one of the girls is crying and she's like She's like, she needs help. She just took some drugs from this guy outside. And we're like, what? So you, like, had to, you stopped the show to, to help her? Like everybody that like, we tried to like, they call the ambulance and everything. Um, and she fucking died. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. Um, but as soon as they got her out of there, they just, the DJ just started playing music. So it was just a very off vibe. So we're just sitting here like this and like little pump is playing and we're just like, I'm going to go. Yeah. Dang, That's a that... way to clean a dance floor. Yeah, was... <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. S Steve, give me something a little bit lighter than that, please. <laughs> a little bit lighter. I mean, oh, God, my one's, my one's not quite as crushing, right? So like, man, there's, there's bad gigs, you know, your guitar goes out of tune or whatever. And it just is what it is. Like, it's just, it's all, it's all good. You know, no one, no one notices for the most part, but. So the, it, it came up in chat, and I'll talk about that story. We did a gig once um, for a clothing label sponsor that was uh, that sponsored us, and uh, we we did it at this place called Snow Planet, which is like an indoor snowboarding rink. And oh, okay. every single time the kick drum got hit, it would set off the fire alarms, right? So like just it just <laughs> like wah, wah, wah. so someone would have to go and turn it off. So we realized, okay, we've got to we got to just go acoustic on this thing. Every time we went acoustic on it, it just wah, 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 constantly. <laughs> and let's like, fuck it. Let's just, let's just rip, let rip and go crazy. Let's just have the worst time and the most best time at the same time. We honestly took the piss out of ourselves. It was just like ridiculous. I don't know if you guys know about it. There was a big elite festival here in Australia, in Australia and New Zealand called the big day out. And the um, massive, massive, massive festival, the scout for the big day out was there to see us that night because we had buzz and he went up to our manager afterwards and said, congratulations, your boys blew it. And then just left. Oh. <laughs> and I was just like, what oh, the? Oh, good. <laughs> what, that... because you guys were setting off the fire alarm? It was well, his fault. Well, we just really didn't, we didn't treat it. This was a lesson to be learned for bands as well, because like, we just didn't treat it professionally. Oh, God, you know, yeah. we just, we just took the piss out of the whole thing. And like, and now like we, we are so hard on the mantra that we play to one person, like we played to, 10,000 you know it's just we will never make that mistake again but yeah right. we just took the piss out of the night and yeah that's easily like that's one of those like wake up in the middle of the night kind of stories for me it's just yeah. like oh god <laughs> ah, ah, that one <laughs> <Yeah>. sucks <laughs> but like you know lessons to be learned dude that was so long ago fair enough a, a more de definitely lessons to be learned this one's called uh, totally. if I could change nice yeah solid Amora. they got they only got Four yays. Takes five to get in. Oh, uh, five yays. Yeah, Tough yeah, system. Yeah. Steve, of any song in your catalog, what would you like us to play? Mm. Um, oh boy, oh boy. Any song in the catalog. Something off the new album for sure. Look, man, Bravery um is actually that's probably our our most like so the song that just goes off, and it's got a sweet little video um as well. So it's probably best there. So yeah, um, I just love it. It's just got it's just got bounce to it, man. I love it. It's my favorite song to play. Is there is there one song in in your set that's harder than others to play? Like, totally, yeah, yeah. Which one would yeah, that be? Um, 
White Lies is actually a real punish um, because that chorus is like right at the top of my range um, and it doesn't let up as well. It's just vocal, 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 vocal the whole way. Um, then there's a couple songs that we don't play because they're too hard. <laughs> I'm like, there's a song called uh, Strands off of the new album, which is just, I made the, I did the Anne Boleyn trick on it in the production side of it and all my vocals overlap each other. And it's just like, it's just by the time I get to the next line, I'm so out of breath. It's like, oh my God. So like, <laughs> we've, got to, we've got to learn how to play that song properly. But um, for the most part, I'll give any of them a crack. Like I'll, 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 I'll give them a good run. Cool. This is bravery. Did you ever beat the original two Legend of Zelda Nintendo games? The the, the, first the, six, two, the, the first sixteen one, bit Nintendo games. Nah, man, not without a guide. I like the two is impossible. I don't know anyone that gives two. A guide. I could like never beat the second one. Oh my god! Like yeah, the first one. I like I'd have to sit down with a guide. I've played it a bunch of times, but I'm one of those people when I get to a point in a game where it's just like this is clearly too hard for me. I'll put it down for a while and forget about it. And it's like there's there's a lot of other games. That's me with Cuphead. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's punishing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard Cuphead is, like, it's extremely hard. Oh, it's torture. <laughs> I've never played it, but I've heard it, it's it's pretty bad. Brutal. Yeah. Uh, let's queue up this one right here. Taking Fox Hollow. Taking Fox Hollow. <laughs> My bad. I'm looking for some Final Fantasy trivia to ask you, Steve, but I just haven't found a good one yet. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not your guy, but I'll, I'll give it a go. I, I know you said um, your, your homie was uh, in, in the band, but... <laughs> What that guys, um, that clean vocal was like super in flames. It was awesome. It was really mm. good. What uh, what video game would you say you know more than anything about? Probably Mario. Probably, I would have to say. Okay, let me find some Mario trivia then. We're gonna put you to the test. <laughs> I'm in the draw. <laughs> Christopher James of Breakdown is next. James, Breakdown. He's at three A's right now. I thought it was kind of cool. I'll say yeah. That was pretty. Yeah, cool. man. One, one man band. Love it. Christopher James. We'll put him in. All right, your trivia question is going to be about Mario RPG. Are you oh, God. Have you played that one a bunch? Yeah, I played it, but uh, not a bunch. But let's go. Let's go. Okay, so there's something particular happens when you beat the game. Who leads the parade when you beat Super Mario RPG? Holy shit. Uh... You know what? I don't know the answer, but I'm going to stick up for my boy. It's Luigi. That's who it is. That's who it is. He's my boy. That is correct. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Pops up the door. That's, I, I'm, I apologize for that. I should have got it wrong, right? It's all good. Yeah, how dare you? How, you, I mean, did you have to? Did you have to really do it like that? I mean, yeah. Listen, to, yeah. <laughs> Tyrannus, it all ends is next. That's cool. Chocolate in the candy. Not too bad. I think Amora did make the poll. Yes, I did. Hell yeah. Um, let's go with the. Uh, let's do chaos next. Cool man. Yeah. Why'd you write yeah. chaos? Um, we wanted. We didn't have a song to start the album. That was kind of what was missing for us. We, like we we like strong starts. We have a an intro song on the album that's like a basically a, just a piano piece, which was just unreal. It was a piece that we've been holding on to for literally ten years, and we're so stoked to actually get it out there. But then, yeah, chaos is kind of where the album starts, and it's just a good punch in the face. That's what that's the way I like to start an album. Definitely, definitely with a big old punch in the face. I like that. <laughs> If and when it breaks, we'll say when because it's gonna happen. Do you guys have uh, anything, anything special planned, like a like a champagne, champagne showers party, anything like that for for the Millie? Um, for a million, we will probably go the Wayne's World route and uh, separate our M and M's into colors uh, and um, sip them from champagne glasses. That's what we will do. I like it. Yeah, Josh, what would you yeah, do if, sure. if uh, one of your tracks broke a million? Um, is there any any special shoot, ce celebration or anything that you do? Uh, let me think. Uh, 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 I probably. Mm, I don't know. I don't have to think about it. I'd probably like spontaneously do something. I'd be like, 
You guys want to hang out? <laughs> Party time, we some, dude! We get some pussy teeth. <laughs> Strip club. Yeah, for real. Chronic Trigger at Chronic Trigger Ban. Wow. Kind of wild, right? That's awesome. Takes you. You, like see him, so you see him eating the tongue? Like... You see him eating the tongue, too? Oh, with yeah. The... Oh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm, gonna, the song. I'm gonna do some trivia here in just a minute. It's gonna be about King of the Hill. I don't have the question queued up, but we'll we'll be there in just a second. Let's see who we have not played. We have not played Failure by Proxy. This one's called Over the Edge. Yeah, Over. that major vocal lift just pulled that bridge up, man. Also that that chorus up so hard. Like just that second half changed so dramatically. It was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Uh Josh, Ooh. what'd you think? It was cool. It's not really my style, so I didn't get too much into it, but like I can still jam out to it. You can't like them all. It's all good. Yeah. What you can, though, is tell me. In the TV show King of the Hill, Hank Hill is a fan of just about every sport, but none more than the uh, the sport of football. What is Hank Hill's favorite NFL team? Shoot. Oh, oh okay. I know it. Um, it's the... Um, what is the fucking star of uh, uh, Cowboys? That is correct. Oh my god, surprise! It's the that. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Hell yeah, Josh! You got two more entries into the next giveaway. Woo! Let's get it. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, Steve, we have time for one more These Four Walls track, sir. What would you prefer well, we play? Choose wisely. Choose wisely, right? You know, it's it's interesting because, like, I don't know, man. This it, It's really tough because the ones that I'm actually I'm really proud of are the ones that probably don't get many plays. Like, there's a song, there's a song called Nothing Land on, that ends the album, and we got a real string section to do strings we got the the piano player and bass player from wolf mother to do piano in a wow. grand piano on a in a, in, wow. a, in a big auditorium um and uh it's just like it's again one of those songs that we've been sitting on for so long but just haven't been able to properly get um but it's a, it's a slow burn you know it's one of those it's an album closer you know so it's like soft and soft and then it hits at the end so I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna start from like right around here. I'm gonna start from like the cool, six, sixty percent in because I want to hear what you're Let's talking about. Liam, I'm gonna add you to the list. Give me a second. Quick, I hear like how big it's getting in the it with all the goes, strings and like it's got so many like moving motifs. Like from the early part of the song, it's just really soft and then just builds. And it took us so long to to get that, you know, like to figure out how to do it. And it really. You know, it took a producer to do that for us. Like, it really took someone to sit down and go, okay, we need to tear this song apart, and, like, here's how you do it, um, which was awesome. Is is I would imagine this one probably would not normally be in the set list. We're actually closing our shows with it now. Oh, um, hell yeah. Do you have, like, a trigger? Yeah. Or is it, is like, a trigger or something to ca to do when the strings come in? Or how are you guys? So we, yeah, so the whole stuff, it's just track. So drummer just hits the space bar. And, um, and, it, all, and it all just happens. And then the clicks kick and, and we go. Um, but, yeah, we just, like, we're so, um, we're, like, we're so proud of what that song was. And it's just one of those things that, like, we don't want it to go unheard. And, and particularly for... A song that likely will move its way out of the set list, as as it does, you know, because you want to end on a big high and, you know, a song that people know. But because, like, we haven't been able to tour in so long, we want to tour the songs from this album that people aren't going to hear live, you know? So that's going to be what we're going to do for a while. Hell yeah. That's cool. Josh, do you have a final that's question that you would uh, like to ask Steve? Um, let's see. Uh, are you guys still on lockdown over in Australia? Or are you guys finally breaking out of that? Yeah, we're, we're kind of the same as everyone else. So, like, it's not, not full lockdown. Um, we've got mask mandates and vaccine mandates and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're kind of on par with the rest of the world. Um, everyone's open, though, for the most part. We just – we have travel issues, right? So we can't go to different – countries without doing quarantines and that kind of thing and um even gotcha. some states we ca still can't travel to um it's been it's been tricky it's been really tricky like there's been no tours and so many canceled tours and so many canceled gigs and um but you know we're starting to see we're coming out the other side like everyone else is and um, i'm excited to to finally just like put feet back on stage man 
Yeah, yeah. that's cool. So I was gonna say it's probably gonna be hard to plan shows, especially like if you're trying to do like overseas stuff. Totally. You know, we like again, we're from New Zealand and like every year we try and go home and do, you know, some like welcome home shows and we just haven't been home in three years, you know, so it's yeah. like we'd, we're, we're, we're keen. <laughs> you know, we're really keen to get some shows under our belts. I have two two final questions. One, I want to I want to play a song, but I want you to pick the song. I want you to tell us about a band that's a local band oh, in your area can, that okay, we need to I, know about. My favorite Aussie band at the moment is a band called Voyager. Um, and they have a song that they just released called Dreamer, I think it is. Um, and I fucking love it. These guys are like just this perfect mix of like, I don't know, synth wave, but like prog metal, but not metal. Like just like, oh, it, I just love it. It's pretty Fun, good. Man. And they've got some like wicked tracks. They're just like, it, it's, it doesn't sound like anything. That's what I love about it. Like they've yeah. just got their own thing going. Um, they played at a uh, a show that we were a part of like a couple of years ago, and I just watched their sound check. I was like, "Fuck, these guys are so good! It's ridiculous." Yeah, they're awesome. My final question, sir, and I appreciate you spending mm. some time with us today. Is what it. is your favorite album ever made? Um, any any artist, any genre, yeah. but it can't be a greatest yeah, hits. It can't be anything like that. Define just... the great line by Under Oath. That's it's it's an easy pick for me. It's an easy pick. I just think from start to finish, that song is flawless. I just I I have no song that I skip. I have no moment that I skip. I think everything like the like songwriting, moving from the album They're Only Chasing Safety, which is just like pop punk with screamo, to to just I think the birth of like post hardcore like the way that we see it today mm -hmm. um that album of just it's just I, I think it's i think it's flawless it's it's my favorite album of all time i love it, it it is so damn good have you had the opportunity to see them live yeah a couple times we did we vanessa my wife and i we did a, a vip experience up here in, in brisbane and got to meet them beforehand and i think i think honestly that's the most scared i've ever been in my life for some reason <laughs> like it was just like fuck like i just couldn't i couldn't <laughs> believe it but yeah, we've seen them a couple of times and it's just, it's, it's amazing every time. I love it. Hell yeah. Steve, we appreciate your time, sir. Uh, much success in I mean, 2022. Thanks. You guys too, man. Keep doing it. I, like I started it out, but like, again, you, you guys are doing a beautiful thing for bands and, um, and just, just keep it up, man. It's so, it's so great. I appreciate the kind words. Keep making amazing music because we're going to keep playing it. Lo lovely. Lovely. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Steve of these four was. Hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, dude. I will, man. I will. Cheers. Yeah.